Today, I want to take you with me on a five hour drive from my hometown of Milwaukee all the way up to Superior, Wisconsin, and we're going to try to answer a question. Why is it so difficult to find Lake Superior agates on the Wisconsin portion of Lake Superior? Here's video clips of two different beaches. This first one is in Wisconsin. And the second one was in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan, both of them on Lake Superior. I had never looked for agates in my home state of Wisconsin before, but immediately I knew it was going to be a little bit of a challenge if the beaches looked like this. The rock piles on these beaches were few and far between, but there were some small little finds like this piece of banded iron. Because there's so much clay in the water, it's really easy to think you have an agate in your hand, but it's actually just quartz. All the rocks that you'd normally find in Minnesota and Michigan, they're all here on this beach, except the only problem is there's so much clay and sand around that it's hard to find piles of them to dig through. And I haven't been to this part of Lake Superior enough to know if these beaches are like this year round or if this just followed some heavy storms. But these little like egg shaped balls of mud were super interesting. I found them all over the beach. I apologize for a little bit of wind noise making the mic cut in and out. It's a brand new mic for me and uh, this is a pretty windy day. But I thought these were definitely worth showing. They're pretty unique. And this wasn't a super high quality piece of it, but this is unikite. It's a red and green stone that you can find pretty commonly all over the shores of Michigan, and uh, I was surprised to see it here in Wisconsin. This shallow spot was one of just a couple places on this entire beach where I could actually see some rocks clearly through the dirty water. In the end, I really didn't end up finding anything at this beach that was worth taking home, but I figured I'd at least leave this clip of me struggling in the cold water in here for you guys. I know we're not finding much, so I at least wanted to show you guys a map of why I chose to come up to this spot. In Wisconsin, it's not uncommon to see farmers or people with big plots of land pulling out agates from their fields up in the northern portion of the state, but I've never seen anybody look along the beaches here. I think it would be a mistake to rule out the entire Wisconsin coastline just based on what I saw at one beach. So here's the next spot I checked out. You know how it goes. Sometimes when you go to the beach to look for rocks, you find the best ones in the gravel parking area. We gotta get all the way down there. I think that's the way. Oh yeah, this is the kind of spot you wanna get to. Whoa. This is steep. Shoes are already soaked. Figured we'd keep wearing these, why not? Woo. And after all that work to get down here, I couldn't have been more wrong. Here's the only thing that I found. I think these are bear tracks. They have little nails above them. Well, not nails, those are claws. All right. I didn't know how fresh those were, or much about tracking at all for that matter, but I did know that was my cue to leave. In order to actually find something when I'm up here, I decided to leave the beach and take this video in an entirely new direction. I'd imagine it might sound pretty bizarre if you've never looked for agates before, but there's actually quite a few people that have a lot of success looking on the side of county highways and dirt roads for agates. And believe it or not, within about 50 feet of hopping outside the car, I found this tiny little agate. Ultimately, if you're looking through gravel on the side of the road for agates, you're really not going to find anything bigger than the actual gravel itself, but this was one of the prettier ones that I was able to find.
This one is small and busted, but it was kind of unique. It was the outer shell of an agate, but then if you look close, it has like a, a yellow quartz crystal on the inside, which I hadn't come across before in a Lake Superior agate. The hardest part about this new approach to looking for agates was trying not to feel like a weirdo while recording myself staring at my feet next to a road. Although it's tiny, this is probably my best find that I was able to come up with up here. I think there's definitely some good banding if you were to cut this one open. So to wrap things up, yes, I do think it's possible to find Lake Superior agates along the Wisconsin coastline, but when I came up here, I was a little bit disappointed. If you look at the Google satellite view, there's just not a lot of rock beaches in the area, and all the sand in the water makes visibility difficult. Even though Wisconsin is my home state and it's a nice place to live, when I come back here and I want to look for agates, I'm just going to go to Minnesota or the Upper Peninsula instead. And that's where I'm going to be taking you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys soon.